Just wanted to show you a U siphon. Now it's really a U drain, I suppose, more than a siphon. But this funky looking pipe here connects a large anchored raft aquaponics bed to this smaller container you can see here. So larger plants are in here, seedlings start over here, nice and packed in, you know, as much as they pack in. I think this container is about 60 litre container. Uh, fits about 25 net pots in it with seedlings, you know, you can see them all coming up there. Uh, and the trick is um, getting the water level that sits in this grow bed, uh, the water level comes up to about an inch of the um, plants, so halfway up the net pot roughly of this anchored raft, it um, you know gives the plants the water they need every hour or so, the water level goes up and down, and this, this is a an anchored raft system so the, the top is stationary that doesn't go anywhere and the water level inside the sump of this goes up and down from that other grow bed there so as that grow bed fills up this one empties as this one empties that one fills up so every hour it does a cycle um, you know so the anchored raft systems are you know I won't go right into that because I wanted to show you something else so this container here has the same water level as this larger sump over here all done with this u-bend so basically I think exciting about it it's just a pipe that goes like a u well this one's more like a, a something else like a y because of this extra bit here generally you wouldn't have this uh, valve on top and it's normally would just be that u pipe so to get the same water level from this tank to that tank and have this tank drain back into this tank and vice versa this one draining into that one uh, whenever the water level moves in the main sump is to add a, a U siphon or a U drain really more than a siphon but anyway we'll call it a siphon for the sake of it so that basically just slides between them and gravity will keep both at, both like tanks at the same level so if this one goes down this one would go down with it if this one goes down this one will come down with it so it's just a simple gravity thing that pipe just remains water level equal to both tanks no matter what's going on it'll do the job the only thing that can stop this is if you get bubbles in it um, if air gets in this uh, it'll break the lock in the siphon and that'll mean that you know it won't start dragging water out of here when this bed starts draining it would stop this one so you just don't want to uh, say like in this bed over in the corner there's an inlet and has lots of bubbles coming out when the gravel bed at the top there feeds into this one bubbles go everywhere so i aimed the inlet coming in down the tank so the bubbles are all going down here not towards this so that's the only thing that can really break the the siphon is having air if air gets in here it'll, it'll just stop working but otherwise it's pretty simple and you can tell it's working you know you'll see the water level you can see the water level now is very high because this bed's filling up so this bed will be exactly the same water level in there as this now I'll just explain this part of it so it's got a, a simple stop shut off valve what that's for is to create the suction because you don't you, you can't have air in here so that has to be water and obviously the water level is higher than both the beds uh, which, which doesn't matter, the siphon itself, that doesn't worry the, the gravity effect of it, it's, um, it's actually all a part of it, but to fill this with solid water and have no air in it, there's only a few ways to do it. You could kind of tip water into it, or you could flood it, it put end caps on it, then put it into place and pull the end caps off. Um, you know, there's a few ways you can do it, but they're all pretty annoying. When this one, you put your mouth on here, open your valve, suck some water up until the water gets to about here remembering the water's already about here anyway because it's sitting in the bed uh, as soon as you you either can tell the water's in here or you're unlucky enough to suck some fish poo water into your mouth uh, from you know sucking too hard you just shut the valve off that's it the system's sealed no air bubbles in it and it's working so i won't show you my beautiful kisser but i'll quickly do it now so uh, if you can see down there but the valve's open I'll quickly uh, show you how simple it is to make this thing siphon, uh, turn into a siphon. I'll just uh, put the camera down for a second. Ugh. 
yeah, I got the fish poo juice. So you can see now the water I sucked it right up the tube. It's sitting on the top. It tasted pretty awful actually. Yeah. Well, it's a fish poo in that water. But uh, that's it. So now I'll show you. you. See the water quickly leaving. It's leveling itself up. It's probably hard to tell looking at that cup there. I'll get another one before all the water leaves. You can kind of see it bubbling off the bottom of the net pot there. So the water level in this tank is now dropping and equalising to what the water level in this one is. So there's the water there. Now both tanks, after doing the little suck method and creating the siphon, now it's full of water. No, no bubbles in it or anything. Now this little U-bend is creating the perfect level between both tanks. And as this one empties in about an hour, the, the pumps will come on to empty this tank back into the big fish tank over there. There's a big 4,000 litre fish tank. Uh, when it starts doing that, it'll drain this one at the same time. All the water from this one gets thrown around the whole system. Uh, and, uh, you know, when the gravel grow bed starts emptying back into here and this one fills up, so does this one. So as you can see now, the water level's dropped right down. Perfectly equal. Really, really simple gravity. Um, very, very cheap. A couple of bucks to make one. Uh, this was all just made out of stuff I had lying around. So, yeah, that's a U-Bend and uh, what it does and how simple it is. So that thing now will work for years without any, any maintenance. And uh, if I want to break the level of this one, if I want to disconnect this tank from this tank and just let it, say, remain full, uh, all I've got to do is pull that, pull the shutoff valve and let the air run into the pipe as soon as the air hits it breaks the siphon no longer will this bed be connected to this bed so pretty simple gravity free no pumps required you know uh, you know great stuff gravity